Yesterday, I had Magic Johnson here on the set, and I asked him if Kevin Durant is now the best player on planet Earth. This is what Magic said. I think LeBron got one more year to be the man in this Kevin Durant's league right after that. You're not willing to say right now Kevin Durant is the best player in the world? I think Kevin Durant is the best scorer on this planet, in the world. Um, I think that, yes, now they're running neck and neck. LeBron knows he's got to come back and have a great year, and his Lakers got to have a great year. But let's see what happens next season. How important is that? He's been the best player in the world a long time. How important do you think that is to him, and what do you think he's thinking as he's watching Kevin Durant this week? Greeny is very important to him. You know, we got egos. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Uh, so, Big Perk, I'm just curious because you have been one of LeBron James' biggest supporters, defenders, and all of that on this show since we came on. What do you think? Is Kevin Durant the best player now? Greeny, look, I don't know what was going on yesterday. I don't know if it was because it was Monday coming off of Father's Day weekend, but all the old heads were tripping on national television yesterday. Kevin Durant is the best player in the world right now, and even Magic was tripping. I don't think LeBron James, I don't think he even gives a damn in year going into year 19 being, about being the best player in the world. Kevin Durant showed us that. The best thing that happened for the Brooklyn Nets and Kevin Durant and I'm not wishing injury on nobody and for the fans was that Kyrie Irving and James Harden got hurt because we were able to see the Kevin Durant that we've been waiting on and he was able to go into his bag and not have to sacrifice for others because he had other superstars on his team. Kevin Durant hands, hands down if anybody watched him throughout the playoffs averaged 35 shooting 51% from the field is not going to say that and can sit up here and say he's not the best player in the world, they trip him. And, and he plays great defense. This has been going on he, for a he, decade. Go ahead, They've right. been playing each other for a decade. In the finals in 2011, Perk was there. It was Durant versus LeBron. It was Durant versus LeBron in the middle part of last decade with the Warriors and the Cavs. Uh, Durant hitting shots over LeBron, LeBron coming back. This is the continuation of what's been a decade-long rivalry. LeBron's great rival was not Kobe Bryant. It is Kevin Durant. It is a good rivalry. They're friendly. This is going to go back and forth, and I'm looking forward next year to having this conversation and seeing people change their mind again. But, but did it feel to you, super quick, Wendy, like what Perk is saying, that in a weird sort of way, in defeat, the, the legacy or at least the perspective, the, the conventional wisdom on Kevin Durant was elevated by what happened in the last week and a half? And that's a yes, but that's a mistake because Durant has been this guy forever. He was this guy in Golden State. He was he was one and two with LeBron in Golden State. And anybody who downplayed anything who, when he went to Golden State and, and somehow thought he was less than is lunacy. The man's a two-time Finals MVP, should be a multi-time MVP. And in my mind, there's nothing changed with Durant from three years ago to today. And the fact that he had an Achilles injury between now and then is only uh, you know makes his resume all that more impressive. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.